If a chase ends in a creek bed, Coweta County Sheriff's deputies say it started with an attempted break-in. When deputies arrived to investigate, they found a big clue to the burglar's identity. Fox has Doug Evans has a look at who they, how they tracked him down, and how the chase ended that led to his capture. This bizarre crime spree started with a call to 911 about an attempted home invasion. It ended with a stolen pickup truck from a construction site at a local school. A homeowner alerted authorities Monday morning of a man trying to break into a back door. That man would later be identified as 33-year-old William Corbin Davis of Noonan. He was kicking on the door. Uh, our victim was still at home at the time and confronted him and told him he had a gun and everything. He continued to do so. As deputies searched for Davis, more 911 reports came in on Smoky Road of other attempted home burglaries. As deputies closed in on him, they released their canines to flush Davis from some woods off Smoky Road. That's when a desperate Davis allegedly stole a pickup truck with a trailer containing building materials on it. That truck and trailer belonged to a worker at a construction site near Smoky Road Middle School. Deputies spotted the truck and a wild chase followed. Even before we got into the chase, he was weaving all over the road, uh, slinging building materials everywhere. He was striking mailboxes on the side of the road. Davis crashed the truck through the gate of a farm and drove into a creek. That's where deputies arrested him. And he has multiple charges, um, the burglaries, entering autos, a whole lot of traffic charges and everything. The motive for it remains a mystery, but investigators here in Coweta County say William Corbin Davis has a conviction here for drug use. In Coweta County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.